Hi, how we doing, folks? Your boy, Marcos12205, the numbers after the name. Game 33 right here on the year. A Vita game, PS4 game. I played mostly on the Vita, except when I captured the footage over here. I actually beat it on the PS4. Uh, it's one of the first times the cross saves that worked. I was in awe. It was smooth, and I just literally picked it up, and it worked. And I was like, okay, cross save. I see you. You you in the game. Okay, I feel you. Um, Entwine, it, it's an interesting game, right? I got it for free. This was uh, given out at a... Oh, it wasn't E3, it was a games kind of like a couple years ago. It was one of those, and it's out now, and people went crazy. You know, I was like still in the early stages of it's out now, even though I think the Saturn, one of those old systems, was even released that way, which is foolish. But uh, I, I, I digress. It was one of those games that, that was kind of the out now that people went ape shit about, and they're like, whoa, and then they play, and they're like, what? Um, it, it's really not that bad of a game if you kind of know what you're getting. And I ended up giving it a 7.3 out of 10. It's it's a soothing game. It's a chill game. I played it a lot. Like, I'd play a level before I went to bed for, like, a week. You know, I think there's, like, eight or nine levels. Um, and I'd play a level before you go to bed. You, it, It's a little bit mindless, but you do have to concentrate a little bit. There's a little bit of, of just fast twitch uh, reminders. It's, it's a... You're basically flying through Crimson Dragoon style, I guess, if you want to say um, that way. But you're flying through, and uh, you're... You got a yellow, it uses the, the two joysticks, um, so it's kind of like a twin stick uh, kind of game in that regard, and they kind of control half the screen of these birds, and you kind of have to get the birds to match the colors that are coming at you. So one of the birds is orange, one of the birds is blue, and you kind of have to shift them up and down for whatever matches. And then once you get to the end of that, you got to get to this level where I'm at right here, and this is at the end of the game, it's a little bit special. Um, this was just like literally fly around and chill and just enjoy everything. Um, but you get to this point where you... Um, uh, you get to control them as one bird. They unite. The souls unite. Uh, they're entwined, some would say. Uh, and uh, and from there, you, you complete like, a couple of obstacles right there, and you fly around, and then you get like the spiritual experience or whatever. It's a game about love. It's a game about uh, you know two people that could never, or two birds, I guess in this case, that could only be together momentarily and not forever. Uh, it, there's definitely like a deeper connotation to the game uh you you wouldn't really see that though it's not like expressed in any way or it's not really told uh very well you kind of get that from either reading some other material about the game or just reading the description of the game and whatnot and there's a little bit of text that comes up like at the beginning at the end of the game whatever that gives you a little bit of an idea and obviously the title deal you know, entwined kind of gives you a little bit of an idea as to what's going on um but it's a fun little game it's not really it's not really anything you want to write home and mom about but it's a cool game to play and I got it for free, so that to me is the best price. Um, but I, even for five or ten bucks, if you're interested in just playing something, you know, it's gonna be a good game for the commute, or whatever. But it does get—I don't want to say it gets too hard because it's not like extremely difficult or anything. But it does get somewhat challenging in trying to match everything up correctly. There is some leeway. It, it, the way it works is you kind of keep filling up this bar, and the more you miss, the lower the bar gets. Uh, but you could also keep raising it up. You never actually like die or anything. Um, you just kind of keep going. Like the stage keeps going on forever. And I thought that was kind of a little bit interesting uh, way of handling things. And a, if you want to call this a platformer, so it's more like an endless, endless flyer, endless runner kind of game, honestly. Um, but I thought it was kind of interesting dynamic. And oftentimes I'd catch myself when I'd mess like two or three up, and I'd come down like a couple pegs. I'd be like, oh, come on, I don't really want to do that over there. But Entwine, man, if you guys haven't, uh, haven't had a chance to play it, uh, I definitely recommend at least playing it. I don't know about beating it. Your boy Marcos, man, game number 33 of the year. Deuces.